Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I just rose up from my prayer altar where I spent some time praying and the Holy Spirit spoke to me about the lives of some of our listeners. Hear this one. There's someone there listening to me. The Lord told me that there is a strong manipulation making your child to misbehave against you. Your relationship with your child is as if you are even enemies. Uh-uh, I want to pray for you. Can you get hold of whatever can represent your child, maybe his or her cloth, dress, or picture, or better still lay your hands upon your abdomen? I take authority in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I arrest and I bind this manipulation walking between you and your child. I rebook it. And I cast it to the dry land. In Jesus' mighty name, I decree that from now, there will be a relationship of a parent to a child between the two of you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. We are waiting to hear your testimony. Because God, by His mercies, always answers my prayers. Hallelujah. Oh, hear what the Lord just told me. And the Holy Spirit told me by the time I declare it, you will know it's referring to you. The Holy Spirit said the arrows of untimely death is destroyed from your family. I say a big amen to it, also on behalf of my family. The arrows of untimely death is destroyed from your family. That indicates big victory. Praise the Lord. Oh my God, oh my God. God has remembered you now because what I hear, the Lord told me you are facing a hopeless situation. You look to your right hand, it's hopeless. It, you look to your left, it's hopeless. You look forward, everything looks blink. Hear what the Lord said you should do. Use Romans chapter 4, verse 18 to 21 to pray. Romans chapter 4, verse 18 to 21 and the Lord will intervene for you you will have testimony in Jesus mighty name Amen and Amen dreams are very significant don't ever ignore your dreams as soon as you wake up from your dream from your sleep just give me a chat narrating your dreams and by the grace of God freely I will interpret your dreams to you this is Charles Adebola's Ministries. Today is the 16th day that we are on this topic. 30 dreams that indicate success or victory. 30 dreams. Amen and amen. So somebody said, Reverend, I had a dream. I saw that I was a graduand in a convocation ceremony. What is is the interpretation a graduate in a convocation ceremony this one is a good one it's a dream that implies you are going to have success in your exam success in your exam may success be the portion of every one of us in jesus mighty name amen and amen have you seen someone someone verse three before someone verse three he says and it shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Hallelujah. Like a tree planted by the rivers of water. You know when a tree is planted by the rivers of water, the season of that tree will always be the season of flourishing. I do decree with this tongue of mine that I used to pray and God has placed his authority as the Lord God of Israel lives. If I be a man of God, you and I will never know dry season again. In Jesus' mighty name. Back to Psalm 1 verse 3. It says, And it shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth its fruit in a season. Hallelujah. That bringeth forth its fruit in a season. I do decree no more barrenness in your life. No more barrenness in the area of the fruit of the womb. 
No more barrenness in your life and divorce. No more barrenness in your business. No more barrenness in whatever you lay your hands upon. This is a new season for you and I. And it shall be called the season of fruitfulness. Says the Spirit of the Lord. Step back to Psalms 1 verse 3. It says, And it shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth its fruit in a season. His leaf also shall not withered. Hallelujah. Can you hear what I'm hearing? The Holy Spirit just whispered into my ears. Nothing good will die in your hands again. Nothing good will die in your hands again. Nothing good. Your business will not die in your hands. Your children will not die in your hands. Your marriage will not die in your hands. Whatever you lay your hands upon to do, they will not wither. Hallelujah. That's a big one. That's a big one. Look at it again. Psalms chapter 1 verse 3. He says, And it shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in a season. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Wow, I love that. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. That is you and that is also for me. I will come back to pray for you. That is if you desire to prosper. And I'm sure you do. And that will be after this announcement. Please do listen to this audio broadcast to all your contacts. And... To the WhatsApp group you belong to. And if it has been someone resending it to you, register directly for free with us so that we can be sending it more prompt to you. When you want to register for free, just give us a chat on plus two three four nine zero five nine two seven zero zero three zero. By the grace of God it's about twelve midnight every day that we send fresh broadcast. If it has not been delivered to your devices by 6 a.m., it's most likely to be the network issues. Just give us a chat of reminder. It thinks our joy to have it resent to you. On behalf of Charles Ade Bolas Ministries, I personally want to acknowledge all of you who pay your tithe to this ministry. You know that once we receive the alert payment of your tithe, I will be the one to give you a call to pray for you, to make prophecies, and to make decrees over your life. Also, I want to acknowledge those of you backing up your prayers with sacrificial seed faith offering. May you experience Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. The Bible says God is able to do exceeding abundantly more than you can ask or think. May God do more than you can ask or think in your life in Jesus' name. Also, I want to acknowledge those of you who have been supportive of this ministry with your voluntary financial contribution. Wow, you are awesome people. We acknowledge and we appreciate you. May the Almighty God position destiny help us round your life. May they support you and give you your needed assistance timely in Jesus' mighty name. When you need the bank details to do any of this, give us a chat on plus two, three, four. Nine zero five nine two seven zero zero three zero. When you need further counseling, prayers, deliverance, ministration, interpretation of your dreams, or you want to share your testimonies with us, you can do it also on that number. This other number is for you to reach me directly for prayers. Plus two three four eight zero six double three one nine three six four. Let me pray for you. And I have the leading of the Lord to pray over your hands. Open your hands. I do decree that from now, your hands will never be empty of good things of life again. In your hands, there will be money. In your hands, there will be your desired children. In your hands, God will grant the desires of your heart. In your hands, whatever you lay your hands upon to do, will prosper. The good things in your hands will never die. They will never wither. These are your season of blessing, your season of flourishing, your season of fruitfulness. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Please do resend 
today's audio broadcast, all your contacts, you are blessed.